Hi everyone, I'm Liz Hyman. I'm Executive Vice President of Public Advocacy at CompTIA, and I'm here today with Tim Hebert. Tim is the CEO of Atrion, which is a really cool, innovative company up in Rhode Island. And uh, he also serves on the board of directors for the State of Rhode Island Commerce Commission. I think I got that wrong. Corporation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, really focusing on uh, development of the economy for the broader state. And uh, we're delighted to have him here today, particularly because he's doing something kind of cool. So we'll get right into it. Um, Tim, could you share a little bit more about Atrion? Yeah, so Atrion is an IT services company. We've been in business for about 30 years. We're located and headquartered in, uh, in Warwick, Rhode Island, but we service the Virginia to Canada area. Um, our main focus, we focus in kind of four major areas. Our first primary area we focus on is classic internetworking. Second is the unified communications and collaboration space. Third is the data center space. And fourth and last is um, the whole security space which is relevant for this conversation. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, speaking of that, can you share with us a little bit for why you're here today? Yeah, so I got a call from um, our congressman, Jim William Javin, um, about a week ago. And we are doing a lot of work with cybersecurity and workforce development in the state of Rhode Island. And he basically invited me to join him as his special guest for the uh, Presidential State of the Union that's taking place later tonight. That's pretty exciting. Uh, very exciting. Yeah, and I'm sure Congressman Langevin has been a real leader in the cybersecurity field, as you pointed out. He has, yes. And I'm sort of curious, as you come into this and you're seeing President Obama's last State of the Union mm -hmm. address, is there something that you hope that the President will talk about when it comes to cybersecurity and workforce? You know, there's so much going on in the world today that I'm, I'm hoping that he can squeeze it in. Um, I'm fearful that it won't get into the State of the Union, but I think cybersecurity is one of the greatest threats to our country and to kind of the the world in general. Um, if you look at what's happening around the world with just the attacks, cyber attacks, it's just increasing every day and getting worse and worse. So what I'm hoping is that he'll address it and talk about it. I think there's two fundamental things I would like to hear him say about cybersecurity. One is how we take our political system, our government, and actually make it more secure. I don't think enough is being done at that level with what the bad guys are trying to do, the bad actors are trying to do. And number two is I think it's really, um, we don't have enough people that are trained in skills to actually move into a true cybersecurity world that we really need. And I think we need to make some major investments in the country to increase the skill sets. Well, I know CompTIA has worked on both of those yeah. issues. So we're obviously very yeah. engaged in, in things like the Cybersecurity Information Sharing Act and legislation to try to do that. But on the workforce front, uh, you know, we share an affinity for mm, that. We do. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about the, the program that Atrion has launched yeah. around the workforce? Yeah, Liz, our program that we created, we created it, we're on it on our eighth year. So far, we've graduated over 100 people through the program. It is a true 100% apprenticeship program. It was created when we were looking for talent and had a really hard time finding the type of individuals we needed to be successful as a company. We need to have three things, strong character, strong professional skills, and strong technical skills. And what we found is most people had some element of one of those, but not what we really required. After getting frustrated with interviews, after interviews, after interviews, and not finding the quality people, we created a year-long program that trained people. You know, we found people with great character, we trained them on the professional skills, and we trained them on the technical skills. And they, became, they become rock star engineers for us. Um, so we've been doing that now for about eight years. Over 100 people have graduated through the program. And it gets them, most people their first start into the IT industry. And it really has helped us fill our talent gaps that we've had. We've had a hard time filling and going because we don't have enough talent. And so we've decided to take it on ourselves and create the talent. Well, that's awesome, and I hope maybe tonight you have a chance to share that with a few members of Congress and maybe even the President himself. So. Absolutely. It'd be awesome if I could do that. Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. Thank you very much.